Welcome to Village of Bartlett Board Meeting for June 4, 2024. I call this meeting to order and ask the clerk to please call the roll. Trustee Daney? Here. Gansey? Here. 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 Swanski? Here. President Wallace? Here. We've requested that Pastor Mark Sundberg of Living Lord Lutheran Church do our invocation this evening. Pastor, thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you. Please join me in prayer. Almighty Creator, you have peopled the earth in order to bring about justice in relationships and productivity that supports and stewards your creation. We acknowledge your presence tonight as we seek to govern, govern this community called Bartlett. We ask you that in our deliberations tonight, we might be respectful of others' opinions, that we would be attentive to the issues that every village and city must contend with, and at the end of the evening, we might go to our homes to rest with the assurance that we have honored righteousness and continue to build the relationships that might bring about a vision of peace and prosperity for all your people. We pray this in your mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Brings us to our consent agenda this evening. All items listed with an asterisk will be considered enacted in one motion. There'll be no separate discussion on items that are on the consent agenda. That being said, would any board member like to add or remove anything from the consent? Yes, Mr. President, I would like to add item E1 to the consent agenda. Does anybody have any questions around E1? No. President, I would like to add A1 to the consent. Does anybody have any questions around no. resolution approving Metro Station and Town Center preliminary design agreement between Village Bartlett and Christopher E. Burke Engineering? Anyone? No. That being said, I'll entertain a motion to amend the consent agenda this evening, which will include the public hearing um, from the board May 21st, 2024, the minutes, the bills list from June 4, 2024. The consent this evening will be adding Item A1 under Building and Zoning Committee. The consent this evening will also be including items C1 and 2. The consent this evening will also be inclu including items D1. The consent will be adding item E1 and also including item E2. And the consent will also include items F2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So moved. Second. Second. By Trustee Daney, second by Trustee Sawanski. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Laporte? Yes. Sawanski? Daney? Yes. Gansey? Yes. Gunstein? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. That motion carries. I'll entertain a motion to approve the amended consent. So moved. Second. By Trustee Daney. Second by Trustee Laporte. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Sawanski? Yes. Daney? Yes. Gansey? Yes. Gunstein? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Laporte? Yes. That motion carries. Next item we have this evening, um, no treasurer's report under president's report. We do have an appointment. Here. So I believe is Amy here. Thank you. You can sit. You can stay sitting if you want to. But um, thank you for your willingness to serve. I talked with Amy. I think a few of the people on the board know Amy. Um, so with the cons advice and consent of the village board, I appoint M Amy McSwain to a two-year term on the Planning and Zoning Commission beginning June 4, 2024, and ending June 4, 2026. I'll entertain a motion to concur the appointment. So moved. Second. By Trustee Daney, um, seconded by Trustee Gunstein. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Daney? Yes. Gansey? Yes. Gunstein? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Laporte? Yes. Sawanski? Yes. That motion carries. Thank you, Amy, for your willingness to step up and uh, serve the village. Um, does anyone have any questions for staff? I have uh, just a couple of uh, recognitions I'd like to make. We, uh, as usual, I do the birthdays and anniversaries. And for June, we have uh, Rob Sweeney, who's our deputy ch uh, chief. His birthday's 23rd of the month. Then we have Matt Germark, right? 
Brown's superintendent over Bartlett Hills. His anniversary is the 26th, so congratulations to you gentlemen on your birthdays. We also have some anniversaries. We have, we'll stay with Bartlett Hills, we have Evan Blum, he's our events coordinator at uh, Bartlett Hills. Then we have uh, Sam Hughes, uh, senior, he's our senior management and anal an analyst. Then we have Christy Stone, raise your hand Christy. <laughs> Planning and Development Service Director, Dan Dinges. Did all of you people for the village start in the month of June? We have Dan Dinges, our Public Work Director. Dan, raise your hand too. There you go. <laughs> Let me go back, where's Sam? Sam, raise your hand, I forgot. <laughs> and uh, we have, <laughs> you're kidding me, where's Tyler? Tyler Isham, he's <laughs> Assistant Public Works Director. Public Works really got a shot in the arm in June, didn't they? Raise your hand, please. Okay. These are all going to retire at the same time. And uh, then we have one old. very, very special person who I admire very much. It's our, uh, it's Paula Schumacher, our village administrator. She has 31 years of service. So congratulations, Paula. Woo. Actually, congratulations to all of you. Evan has 24 years. Sam had seven years. Christy Stone, 22 years. We hired her out of high school. <laughs> Dan Digis has 10 years. Tyler has nine years. And obviously, I said that uh, Paula has 31 years. My God. Fantastic. And I do need to mention something. He's not here, but uh, my granddaughter's husband does also have a, a birthday in June, uh, the 16th. He has eight years of service. That's Tyler Reese. So congratulations to all of you. That's all I have, Mr. President. Thank you, Trustee Daney. I have a question for Dan Dinges. I just want a 30-second uh, recap of where we're at with our road work in Bartlett, because it seems like uh, we can't turn a corner without seeing a barricade, so. Sure, tis the season. Yep. Uh, um, for the water main project on Oak, um, contractor is moving north now that school is out, so they will be uh, starting next week, where actually we'll be shutting down Oak from Hickory to Lake because a water main will be installed. That's probably gonna be about a three week process. We will leave the north portion open while they're not there, but as they get closer, it gets tight and they'll have to shut down traffic. Everyone will be routed to North Avenue at Lake to get into town. Um, our force main job, Prospect, Amherst, Hill, and that whole uh, temporary pavement that's out there is the contractor's out, they're putting in the permanent patch, so hopefully in the next couple of weeks that should all be cleaned up pavement-wise out that way. And then, as you know, IDOT is still working at Route 59 and West Bartlett. Unfortunately, that's still gonna take some time, but they're getting the median work done and uh, getting the pavement work done. Um, but that's pr the majority of all the construction in town. <laughs> Is the projected date to be completed for the work in downtown before the 4th of July festivities? What they'll do, so they'll be moving forward. What we're hoping will happen is um, the next three weeks, they will, which will bring us up to the 4th, they will get Nor uh, Oak Avenue completed. We may have the portion between Hickory and Morse where they still have to do utility. Uh, the service hookups, um, but North Avenue will be- uh, So the parade route won't be- be clean, that'll be done. They've already restored Oak through that area. We're hoping to be able to open up the whole stretch of Oak, depending on where they're at, where they get done going up the lake. We're hoping to get that Oak cleaned up and then the contractor come back after the fourth and start doing North. <clears throat> Thank you. I have a quick question on our uh, branding work and when we were, we'll see some things. Yeah, um, we had uh, A5 in town a few weeks ago taking uh, local pictures, um, doing some of the um, mock-ups. Uh, we are meeting on Friday with them to get a little sneak preview and then it'll be headed back to the EDC in their July, at their July meeting and then back to you. Thank you. I would like to thank the police department for 
a really fun family fishing derby this last Saturday. Good job. It was just a little bit of drizzle here and there, but uh, fish and frogs were caught. And frogs, yeah. <laughs> um, and I would like to point out, and maybe Sam could just give us a little more detail. I think we have the ribbon cutting for the for the uh, garden. We'll have the um, ribbon cutting for the garden on the 15th at 10 o'clock at Kohler Field. And um, my kale and radishes are ready to harvest, so things are growing pretty quickly out there. The, the raised beds are really looking good. <laughs> Much better than mine at my house, that's for sure. <laughs> that's good. That's a good spot. That's full sun all the time. <clears throat> Anything else? All right. Entering the town hall portion of the meeting, if anyone would like to address the board, kindly step up to the podium, state your name and address for the record, and try to keep your comments to three minutes. Would anyone like to address the board at this time? Who do we got on the hybrid? We have somebody in the back. Oh. Right. Just right over here. Just your name and your address, please. It's my first time doing this, so my name is Sebastian. I'm at uh, 1099 Horizon Drive. Um, I'm basically here because we... Sebastian, your last name? Nowak. Nowak, okay. Yeah, we came... Uh, I submitted a letter to the uh, Bartlett Police Department about getting some uh, speed cameras set up in our neighborhood. We had a uh, dealership recently built right by our subdivision um, by Moretti's, and we have a lot of vehicles driving through there for test drives and stuff. Um, we sent this letter back in April. Basically, I'm just trying to see if I can maybe get a hold of someone or which department can help me out with that. So, yeah, Chief, are we aware of what's going on there? You know that our traffic unit Supervisor uh, Sergeant Brian Simone was working with some of the residents. To our knowledge, the, uh, the complaint had to do with the dealership moving their vehicles um, around Horizon Drive instead of using... Uh, Lake Street. I do know that uh, Brian Simone also has been in touch with uh, Christy Stone. As I mentioned, there's not really too much we can do police enforcement except for if vehicles are violating the Illinois Vehicle Code or if there's some type of equipment violations. If it's in regard to them using that roadway, we have no police authority to uh, prevent them from doing so. Um, in regard to, you know, if there's um, any like, speed issues or that, we're more than happy to um, do what we normally do and putting out our, uh, we have a speed trailer and also too we can put out our, you know, periodic uh, patrols. Okay. And then with that, sir, if you want to, Deputy Chief Rob Sweeney's right here. He can meet with you afterwards to discuss more. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Sebastian. Can I follow up on that really quick? I thought when we passed that ordinance to approve the dealership that they are required to use Lake Street, not Horizon Drive. They have signage that they posted that they're supposed to make right turns out using the frontage road, but zoning wise, I can't enforce traffic. So it's kind of, we've met with the um, general managers, we've talked to the porters on multiple occasions, telling them which way to go. I've noticed when I drive through there in the morning, I am seeing vehicles going out more towards Lake Street, and I wasn't seeing that when they first opened. I haven't gotten any complaints recently, so I was kind of hoping things had been, they'd listen to us reaching out. Okay. I think, I mean, if this, I mean, this isn't the only resident that I've heard issues from. Maybe if it continues or we keep hearing complaints, maybe we need to put up no left turn signs because no one else uses, you know, that extension right there. So if we put up a sign that says you can't turn left and then your, their other exit that goes onto Horizon Drive, if they can't turn left. I mean, I think that would be our only option to stop this from happening because now it's a, a ticketable offense then. So. I, d I remember them mentioning that they wanted to be good neighbors. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, yeah, I think they'll do pretty much whatever we probably ask them to do. What's, what's the speed limit there? Is it 25 or is it 30 on the, on the, the drive going in? They're 25 or 30. Okay. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like a 40 mile an hour, 35 mile an hour, where we could lower it to make it less attractive for them to use it. Yeah, Chief, if we could get the speed trailer out there and then maybe we can monitor a little closer. 
Absolutely, Deputy Chief Rob Sweeney is actually meeting with the resident right now to get more information. We'll pass it along to our traffic unit. Thank you, Chief. Anyone else like to address the board at this time in the room here? Um, John, are you on the hybrid? I am, and we don't have anyone there. Thank you, sir. That we will move on to standing. Oh, wait, we have one person. What was that? He just raised his hand. We have one person uh, who would like to who would like to speak. Okay, go ahead. I will turn on his mic. Jerry, you're up. Sir, can we get your name and address? Yes. He's just as good a Zoom at my, as my in-laws are. John, you realize we can't hear him, right? Uh, he has muted himself. Can you hear me now, please? We can hear you now. Can you please state your name and your address, please? Yes, Jerry Leffler. I'm at 121 Lucille Court in Bartlett. Uh, the issue that my neighbors and I are having is, is that uh, very quickly, uh, across the street at Donna Court, uh, two townhouses are apparently running a used car business, repairing cars and whatnot. I realize that's private property, et cetera. The issue is, is that they're using Chase Avenue, which is a public thoroughfare, as a parking lot for their cars. And they, the last count, they had eight or nine cars parked between Ann Court and North Avenue. So my request is very simple. If uh, the police department could please uh, initiate for a few days ticketing between, again, Ann Court and North Avenue, uh, that might disrupt their flow of their business as far as using, again, Chase Avenue as a parking lot. Okay, thank you, thank you Gary. Is there anything else? Did, I know that yes, Chief... Yes, uh, one... Go ahead, I'm sorry. The Chief made some notes on that, just so you know, you're not here, but he made some notes on that. Okay, just real, just as a general question, I noticed on the website that there is listing the garage sale upcoming September, I think it is 5th through the 7th, uh, when will more information on that be available as far as sign up cost, et cetera? So that'll be in the next BART letter, um, the, the call out for the sign ups, and then the following BART letter will have the, the addresses in there. So you, I believe you'll be getting that very soon. Okay, very good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gary. Anyone else online, John? Uh, no, Mayor, we do not. Is that, is that resident? Is that a residence that's running a business out of a house? Yes, I was just telling the chief that we'll also be sending code enforcement out there because we don't allow that use in a residential district. Exactly. Right. I need my brakes done, though. <laughs> I can do those for you, trustee. <laughs> for a fee. All right, moving on to standing committee reports. First standing committee report is Building and Zoning Committee Chairman Gunstein. Thank you, President Wallace. We have two items tonight. Item number one was covered under consent, and item number two is Maryville Community Residence. Maryville Academy submitted a development application for a 12.7 acre parcel that, would have, that they have under contract to purchase, which was originally part of the Macula Development, also known as Claire Oaks. The petitioner would like to convert the building formerly used as the Claire Oaks Model Sales Office into a community residence to house up to six persons at a time that are transitioning from state's state guardianship. The petitioner's requests are as follows. Preliminary and final plat of subdivision, amendment to the planned unit development to add community residence to the list of special uses, special use permit to allow a community residence, text amendment to modify the definition of a community residence, and a final site PUD plan. The plan, Planning and Zoning Commission conducted a public hearing and reviewed the petitioner's request on May 2nd, 2024. The Planning and Zoning Commission motion to pass the positive recommendation onto the board was a 5-3 vote. Um, I would make a motion to approve ordinance uh, 
24-50. An ordinance? Dash R. Nope. Dash 50. 50. You made a motion? I did. I'll second that. Moved by Trustee Gunstein, seconded by Trustee Daney. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Gansey? No. Gunstein? No. Hopkins? No. Laporte? No. Swanski? No. Daney? No. That uh, motion fails. Thank you, President Wallace. That's all we have tonight. Thank you, Tr uh, Chairman Gunstein. Next, we have Community and Economic Development Committee, Chairman Gansey. Thank you, Mr. President. We have nothing to report tonight. Thank you, Chairman Gansey. Finance Committee, Chairman Laporte. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Both items are covered under consent. Thank you, Chairman Laporte. License and Ordinance Committee, Chairman Hopkins. Thank you, President Wallace. Item D1 was covered under the consent agenda tonight. Thank you, Chairman Hopkins. Police and Health Committee, Chairman Swanski. Thank you, Mr. President. Items E1 and 2 were covered under consent. Thank you, Chairman Swanski. Public Works and Golf Committee, Chairman Daney. Thank you, Mr. President. The, uh, the item we have on the agenda this evening is a resolution approving the Second Amendment and extension to the agreement between the Village of Bartlett and, and Groot Incorporated. The Village's most recent contract with Groot Industries for refuse recycling and yard waste collection is set to expire on December 31, 2024. At the May, May 21st Committee of the whole meeting, staff included a memo outlining a negotiated proposal for a five-year extension to our current agreement with, with Groot. The agreement includes a no price increase for the first year, with seniors receiving a freeze for two years. The following years will be increment, incrementally uh, raised by 3.5% annually, and the yard waste stickers will remain at $20 for the life of the contract. Given the market condition and assessment of neighboring communities and the minimal complaint volume, which which is uh, promptly addressed. Staff recommends a five-year extension to Groot. And with that, I move to approve resolution 2024-52-R, a resolution approving the Second Amendment and extension to the agreement between the Village of Bartlett and Groot. So moved. Moved by Trustee Daney, seconded by Trustee Gunstein. Is there any discussion about the trash? Bob, uh, what was his name that used to support the village so much? Bob, I can't remember his last name. He was the... Yeah, let's talk trash. Okay, no, if there's no discussion with the clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Gunstein? Yes. Hopkins? No. Laporte? Yes. Sawanski? Yes. Daney? Yes. Gansey? Yes. That motion carries. Thank you, Mr. President. The other items were all covered under consent. Thank you, That's Chairman. Thank you, Chairman Daney. Um, one item under new business, and then I'll ask for the rest. Uh, the one item under new business is a um, Penny's Place is applying for Class B liquor license, which allows for retail sale of beer and wine to use the consumption on their premises from 8 to 1 a.m. Sunday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 2 a.m. Friday to Saturday. Orchards Gaming LLC was purchased in April by Black Hawk Restaurant Group. The new owners will be applying for a license for gaming with the state as well. There's still a VC license on the book since the business closed before the license took effect on May 1st. And you can see the attachments, all the proof of insurance and surety bond and everything is attached. Uh, I'll be intend on issuing that if the, unless there's any discussion. Any other new business anyone would like to discuss? Not today. No. Any questions for staff? I have a question for Dan. Uh, I had some uh, residents ask if we could put some type of signage up uh, at the crosswalk by the horse farm uh, for the walking path going east-west, or actually from there it would be going east, and then across from Prospect, out of Prospect. So just, just something, they said they have to stand there 10 minutes before they can cross. We all know a pedestrian has the right of way in Illinois, but uh, people keep driving, so. Right, yeah. <clears throat> We would have to talk to the county on uh, South Bartlett. If you'll recall, Prospect, we were planning on doing one of our traffic calming measure where we put a landscape median 
Unfortunately, ComEd has put some obstacles in that, so I don't know if we're going to get that landscape median, but we'll look at putting up, um, we were looking at doing some of those rapid flashers where pedestrians or bicyclists crossing hit the button and they okay. really flash and very noticeable. So we'll look at utilizing some of that type of stuff. If we can't get, if, we, if it looks like we can't get the landscape median, then that'll probably be the alternative. Perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> Anything else? I got one quick question. I know it was probably like a month and a half, um, but do we have any movement on the underpass under Route 59 for the bike path? Yes, um, it's currently under design. Um, the big thing right now, we need to get some soil borings, and it's a little difficult to get there, so we're trying to figure out how to get there. We have to do some tree clearing, but once we can get that done, the structural can get finalized. Um, and then they'll be submitting to IDOT for hopefully approval. Well, thank you. Good to hear. Anything else? I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Danny, seconded by Trustee Hopkins. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Hopkins? Yes. Report? Yes. Sawanski? Yes. Danny? Yes. Gansey? Yes. Gunstein? Yes. <laughs> we are adjourned.